Okay, this is the plot that I wanted to show in class. Really sorry that I didn't get this right. But um, let me just shorten this up a little bit, okay? So uh, if you look at the initial displacements, okay, if I change the initial displacement or the initial velocity, you can see how it changes that graph, okay? Um, but if I move the time frame that I'm looking at down further, and I'm changing that initial displacement or the initial velocity, you see that the only changes that are occurring are occurring right down in the beginning. That's considered the transient regime right down there in the beginning. The forced system on this, the forcing function, which in this case was a cosine function, okay, that function eventually takes over the system and the system follows that for the velocities and and the uh, displacements. Now, you know, you can get a variations in this by switching the spring stiffness, the dampening. You see as dampening goes up, that initial, those initial conditions aren't changing anything downstream very much. I move these around and you check that out. So it's hardly moving anything downstream. Now if I move the dampening down, now I get more of an influence downstream from the initial conditions and that transient regime is larger okay mass you know of course if I increase the mass and whatnot I'm getting more of a um, influence or, or bigger uh, amplitudes in this okay but once again you know the dampening when I put a lot of damping in this it decreases the influence of those initial conditions okay Whereas if I don't have much damping in this at all, very small amount of damping, the initial conditions have more of an influence on the system, moving it, depending on the mass and, and, um, and other attributes. Spring stiffness, of course, uh, changes things as well. You can see as I increase the sti uh, spring stiffness, you know, I can get a little bit more influence in some areas, okay, in that beginning. But regardless of that, if I let me just pull this all the way out, reduce the spring stiffness back down, the dampening is a critical turn. If I put more damping in this, you can see that the transit regime shrinks drastically, and that influence of these initial displacements and velocities is very small.